Dude, Tanjiro's built different, man. <laughs> He's so built different. I mean... Hello everyone, welcome to Romero Defense League Season 4, Episode 3! Woo! And wow, I can't say that last episode was absolutely fun for Giyu fans, especially for me, because, you know, Giyu was being a little bit rebellious from the team and saying that I would rather work by myself rather than, you know, joining with this Hashira training arc and shit like that. But, you know, let's just say Giyu was being taunted around, followed around, spied on, well, stalked on by Tanjiro, which I gotta say, Tanjiro you remember being persistent is, is definitely his trait man and he really showed the fact that he really do whatever it takes to ensure that Giyu is on board with the training to make sure he doesn't left behind and make sure, making sure he's actually ready for the final fight because we can actually smell the fact that things are about to get really intense now especially how to build up to the you know, the final arc which many of you guys have been telling me about so yeah Giyu really need to join it and of course he also explained his backstory and why he thinks that the water benders are not really uh, going to be like thing anymore because of seeing how Tanjiro moved away from it really discouraged him she's think about the war bending stuff but you know in the end Tanjiro said you know what let's just tell me everything and then we're just gonna go along with it oh no you know what let's just go and have some e soba eating contest oh my god that last part of the episode was absolutely amazing to see how Tanjiro really brings the vibe for Giyu again but of course let's just say I'm pretty sure expecting today's episode we're gonna learn a little bit more about Shinobu's sister because she mentioned the last part of the episode that she's gonna tell Kano how you know how her sister died I'm pretty sure we can see a very ex very interesting depth in depth backstory and to maybe how she and Doma fought against each other because I've been told that Doma was the one that killed her so oh my god I am really looking forward to this episode already man especially now from what I can see from the preview too that we're gonna see how time you're gonna adapt to the Hashira training so with that let's just get started reaction shall we Oh, so we're skipping the Shinobu backstory, so we're going back to the training. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, this is the training arc after all, so might as well enjoy what we have for training for today. <laughs> oh, oh my god, they're literally going through military-like training. But I mean, they kind of have to, though. They're fighting against Upper Moon next. Although I do wonder whether or not these training will pay off, though, because, you know, they're fighting against stronger demons and... Oh, hey, Tanjiro! How about time you joined them? Well, he was lucky enough to have support to prevent him from dying. But, yeah, he survived another Humble Moon fight. Now he's more stronger than ever before. And, of course, Tanjiro is excited for training. And, of course, you will be the one that does better than everyone else. <laughs> Look at that reaction. Dude, Tanjiro's built different, man. <laughs> He's so built different. I mean, what do you expect? He's the MC and been through a lot of shit in the previous two seasons. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Tenzin, give him a break, man. They're not built like Tanjiro, okay? Dude, I don't know why, but these two have a, some sort of death uh, flag over them, you know, investigating a town like this. Oh... Oh, see, told you, told you. Oh, okay, he was just pranking him. Ah, uh, fair enough. Ah, uh, fair enough, I guess. Okay, guess not. I guess they're not gonna come across a demon. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, my God, I just knew something would pop up. Oh, is the, the, maybe the one with the maiden demon? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Look at Tanjiro, man. Just flexing his MC power. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Dude, I don't blame Tanjiro for being this good, man. Because he's been facing a lot of upper moons and he's been training hard. So, he, of course, you'll be the one to stand up from everyone else. Look at his body, man. He got the scars, for God's sake. Wow, I, you guys don't need to worry about Tanjiro, man. Just focus on your own training. Tanjiro is built different. Dude, everyone looks tired and Tanjiro is just full of energy. Like, his stamina is uh, like literally like god level at this point. Or should I say, at the level of a marathon runner. <laughs> oh, hey! We actually get to see the extent of the eating contest. Well, seems like he lost. <laughs> 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 oh my god, Giyu's stomach is built different, man. Well, I mean, what do you expect? He's a Hashira, though. 
Yeah, he's literally reaching his limit, man. Dude, like, if you eat that much, your stomach will explode, for God's sake. But it's good to see that Giyu and Kanju is getting along after this. Oh, he's suspecting something. Um, oh, they're thinking about it. They're still thinking about it. Oh, my God. They're, they're really in the mindset of fighting already. Don't worry, guys. Eventually, you guys will now reach that part of the fight now. Oh, my God. They're beating up to it quite nicely. I'm loving it. I don't know why, but every time he does that eye, you know he's about to do something crazy, man. Oh, we fu the fight? Like, now? Okay. I just knew something was going on with those eyes, man. Well, I mean, it's good to see that they uh, still appreciate Tanjiro for his help for saving the husband from almost dying back in Season 2. Man, that's like two years or three years ago. Oh my god, dude. You don't have to like make us remember that, man. But still, it's quite good to see that they really appreciate Tanjiro what he did for them. Oh, that's some encouragement right there. Defeat Muzan and end this series already. <laughs> well, seems like training continues on to the mountain. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, really now? Using the darkness to fight. Huh, I mean, very good training, but still, though. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, ouch. <laughs> oh, my God. Even for one-handed, you know, he can still beat them down. I mean, what do you expect? He's a formal Hashira, after all. <laughs> and, of course, he's the ninja, too. And the moonlight's out. Perfect. Some light to fight. Let's go, baby. Oh. Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah, he's teaching him a lesson. If, if you, if you, if you, this is your mentality, then there's no point of you going to fight. Then, oh, <laughs> oh, let's go! Oh my God! Ay, ay, ay! Wow, Tanjiro with the, the tens. Oh my God, we've been waiting to see this for a while now. Oh my God, let's go, Tanjiro! Oh my God, this is peak. Dude, Tanjiro's keeping up with him. That is show, show his level. Oh my god, that's a thumbnail picture right there. He is keeping up with him, man. I'm loving this. And now everyone joins him because Tanjiro gave him the motivation. Oh, yo. Even with one hand, he can still beat them down like that. Yo, let's go, guys. This at least hurts him, man. Come on, let's go, Tanjiro. <laughs> Oh, Tanjiro gave him all the motivation and men the right mentality. Love it. Love it. Dude, this is what I call the Tanjiro effect, man. We need Tanjiro to give everyone the motivation boost to train hard. Oh, Tamarazo. Oh my god. It's up to you now, Tanjiro, to finish the story. <laughs> wow. Okay, so Tanjiro gets to move on to the next round. Oh my god. This is going to show his level, man. So, I do wonder who's the next trainer will be. Oh, this is from the trailer. Hey, hey. The buff Tanjiro moment. Oh, Muichiro. He's the next one. Ah, oh, hey, hey. Let's go. Oh, my God. That was a hard swing, man. So, it seems like Muichiro will be teaching Tanjiro how to swing his sword then. Holy cow. What a training episode, man. This is what I call a training arc. We actually get to see the extent of the training by individual Hashira. So Uzin Ten Tenzin is now done. Now we move on to Muchiro. So I assume from this point to the end of the season, we're going to see individual training episode for each Hashira. So yeah, I'm quite curious to see like, you know, what sort of interesting stuff they're going to have for Muchiro because Tenzin one is more like military like training. So you can say it can easily cover a whole episode, but for Muchiro one, since Muchiro kind of know how Tanjiro fight from season three, then I presume he will, you can say, use Tanjiro as a prime example. Say, look at Tanjiro. He is indeed the right mentality type person. Look, uh, he's your role model to what I want to see from you, from the, you know, the Demon Slayer corpse and, and you know, see how hard Tanjiro worked, how he became so improved. Well, again, though, because Tanjiro came across three upper moon fight by the way so that's why he was able to cope with you know the individual Hashira's training you can see that you know Tanjiro in today's episode is literally like you can say the experienced one 
like the other members training of course they're like struggling they're like losing faith in themselves but of course tanjiro coming in giving them the motivation boost giving them the mz the mc vibes you can just say the importance of tanjiro is very evident in today's episode because he not only gave them the motivation but also gave them the right mentality to get in to focus on their training so that they can go into fighting in the final battle so yeah i mean tenzin of course you can say he's even though he retired and having only one hand to fight he is still good man you can see that he's still at his good condition to fight and he still haven't really lost any of his abilities so it's definitely tenzin using seeing tanjiro as a the beacon of light to end this whole Muzan Wars in this case. So yeah, definitely looking forward to the Mushiro training next episode and hopefully it should be a, another good one, man. So with that said, hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Smash the button and I'll see you guys next week for more training greatness. Bye-bye.